You have an M1 Mac, you wanted to install StarNet 2 and you run into issues. So did I. Let me show you how I solved it. This is View Into Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland, so Grüezi miteinander and thank you for watching my channel. Let's get right to it. The M1 chips of Apple make picks inside ultra fast, so it's really made for each other. And everything runs smoothly without any problems as far as I experienced, except when I wanted to install StarNet 2. I was able to install StarNet 2, but when I went into picks inside, it first gave me some security warnings and when I resolved them, it just told me there's no model to install. So I had to do some digging and I finally found the right solution. In addition, I realized afterwards there's another problem with the easy suite. And we're also going to solve that. So let me go to my computer and show you how to solve it. Okay, and here we are. So here on top you actually see the package that you get when you download StarNet 2 from the official internet page. By the way, I will put the links of the internet page of Starlink where you can download, but also of some help discussions right in the description below. So, what you can see is that they tell you to put everything in applications, picks inside, bin. So you should throw everything in here. And by the way, you have actually to take the StarNet weight out of this directory and put it in here. So that's how it regularly goes and how it regularly works. With an Apple M1, it does not work like that or it needs an additional step because of these two files. It sounds like the original ones do not work with the M1 chip out of whatever reason. So what I found is what you have to do, you have to go in the application container. So what you do here, you go to picks inside to the application, you right click and you say show package contents. And then you go here in the direction frameworks and you throw these two libraries in this directory. And you've seen, I've done this already. And when you do this, then magically it works and you can install StarNet 2 without any issues. So that's how I got this fixed. So the second issue I want to talk about is when you use the Easy Suite in PixInsight and you use, for example, the Easy Decon module, which actually relies on StarNet. So the issue that you will face when you install StarNet 2 is that the Easy Suite will not recognize it. It's like you never installed it. So what do we have to do here? It's quite easy. You go out of PixInsight minimize that and again you go into the finder in the finder you go to application and to picks inside and in there you go to the folder src we open that and then you open the folder scripts in the folder scripts you will find actually a file called easy common js you right click it and you open it with the text edit. So that's how it looks like. It looks quite complicated, but no worry, you only have to change one number. So what we do, we go to find and we search for StarNet. And you will see it pops right up. It's only two times in there, you say done. So you see this function get StarNet and then down here, return new StarNet 2. Originally, when you will open it, it only says StarNet. So the only thing that you have to do is add here the number 2. And once you've done it, you save it and you enter it again or you replace it in the same directory. And that's all. You restart PixInsight and your problem will be solved. That's how easy it is.
Okay, that was it. I hope StarNet 2 works now for you and you have a lot of fun with it. If you have additional tips about StarNet 2, please leave it in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe on the bottom below. See you next time and clear skies.